Faith Lutheran, it's Alex. Hey Crusaders, it's Addie with the FLNN. I'm Cameron Crusoe with the FLNN. Hi, my name is Jordan Jackson from the FLNN. What's up Faith Lutheran, I'm Lindley Amick from the FLNN. Good morning, Faith Lutheran. I'm Sophia Bonner with the FLNN. To start this broadcast off, let's check in with Kira Bala and get the latest on our school's new esports team. Hey Crusaders, this is Kira Bala with the FLNN. Esports is becoming increasingly popular amongst teenagers. Let's see what our esports club is most excited for this year. What are you most excited for about esports club? Uh, I'm excited to work with other friends I have at school to be on the same team and compete in competitions because I've never been on an esports team before. Training others because I'm at the level where I can be a coach to others and I enjoy teaching others, teaching them how to get better, how to improve, and I think it like helps the scene. What is your favorite video game? Uh, my favorite video game at the moment is probably Overwatch 2, which is the team that I tried out for, so I'm really excited. I wouldn't say I have a particular favorite video game, but I am a big fan of uh, Mega Man games. Your favorite part of advising an esports team? I would say being able to start the program because this is a very new thing. Most people do not get an opportunity to kind of launch a new idea. So with esports, we're playing multiple diff multiple games, learning which leagues to play in, how to build the best structure of playing on campus. That's been a lot of fun. And so anything new to me is, is always going to be very exciting. We have taken our esports team down to the HyperX Arena before, uh, competed in matches with Grand Canyon University in their tournaments. So we're, we're just figuring it out as we go along, but I absolutely love that. That's like my favorite thing. And then obviously bringing that new thing to the kids here who really want a quality program. This is Kira B with the FLNN. Back to you in the studio. Thank you, Kira. If you have any questions about the new team, visit Herbie Walker in the counselor's hallway. With January and the rush of the new year coming to an end, another holiday finds its ways into our store. Cameron has helpful hints on what you should get your significant other for Valentine's Day. Cam? Good morning, Faith Lutheran. I'm Cameron Crusoe with the FLNN. Valentine's is coming up fast and there is unlimited amounts of chocolates and roses to go around. Let's see what the best products to buy are. What's the most common flower ordered around this time of year with Valentine's Day coming up? Of course, it's red roses. Do you enjoy working during Valentine's season? Why or why not? <laughs> it's the hardest time for florists. Um, and I still enjoy it because I see a lot of customers, a lot of them new for me. I have new business here and I want to bring them back after Valentine's Day. So I'm trying to do the best, to give them the freshest product so they will be back after Valentine's. Because yes, Valentine's is the biggest holiday, but still I need them to come back and shop more during the year. And what do you recommend buying for a significant other during Valentine's season? Um, fresh flowers always the best, but I also recommend to, ha I have some gifts, you know, I have um, chocolates, I have gift baskets. Um, women like getting f fresh flowers, no matter what kind. It can be different, it can be tropical, uh, not necessarily roses, tulips, spring flowers, um, something that lasts longer. But I don't know any, any women that doesn't like flowers. So even just one single stem, if you don't have a lot of money to spend, because yes, um, it's more expensive during Valentine's time. But please just bring them something fresh and uh, really your loved one uh, appreciate oh, story. You know, all this. Spread the love this February 14th. I'm Cameron Crusoe with the FLNN. Back to you in the studio. Thank you, Cam. Speaking of shopping and Valentine's Day, let's go to Katie to hear about the Uncommons, a new hotspot in Vegas. Hi, my name is Katie Blake and I'm here live from the FLNN here at the brand new hotspot in Vegas called the Uncommons. Let's see what this new area is all about. What can people expect going into this new little area? 
Yeah, so this is a mixed use space. So you have office, retail, and food and beverage. We currently have a couple of things open right now, which is some of our food and beverage, Earth Cafe, Mercadito, uh, Teaspoon, uh, and Sun Life Organics. How's business going so far in this location? Business is going really good. I mean, we are still new here to the Uncommons Plaza, but also to Vegas in general. This is the first location here in Vegas. Um, so we're still expanding, still trying to get as many reviews as we can, and just really making those connections with guests that we do see on a daily basis. What's a highlight of being in this location so far? A highlight is definitely our neighbors. Everyone here is very friendly, um, outgoing. They like to stop in and, you know, just kind of check out the place. So what's going to be here? Um, it's another little hot spot in Las Vegas. You're going to be able to eat, drink, enjoy, and we're also going to be bringing events to this little corner as well. Make sure you check out some of the awesome new restaurants and shops here available at the Uncommons. I'm Katie Blake from the FLNN, sending it back to you in the studio. Thank you, Katie. That new area is definitely something to keep us updated on. Well, that's all for this week. From the FLNN, I'm Sophia Bonner. God bless.